First, make sure your USB flash drive is connected to your PC. Plug it in. Afterwards, download the media creation tool. You can go online and look for it by typing media creation tool from a search engine. Or you can use the link in the video description. After downloading it, go ahead and open it to begin the setup. Once you've begun the setup, choose the option that says create installation media. Now this part of the setup allows you to configure the setup for your installation USB. For the most part, you can leave things as they are and then go to the next screen. But if you want more control over your setup, you may want to uncheck the box that says use the recommended options for this PC. Now one thing I would like to add with regards to the architecture, it's probably best for you to choose 64-bit because most computers nowadays are 64-bit ready. It's now the standard. But if you want to be absolutely safe, choose both. And again, remember, the default settings as they are will likely be fine. So no need to worry about configuring things in the first place. Then it's going to ask you which media to use. Of course, choose USB flash drive. Now after confirming the drive, there you go, it's going to start downloading Windows 10 on the USB flash drive. Alright, now we've set up the Windows 10 USB installation flash drive. So now, how do you boot to it? The way you boot to the USB flash drive is not the same for all computers. All you need to know is your PC's name or version. So go online and search for the following. Type your PC's name or version and then type boot from USB. In my case, I have the Lenovo ThinkPad P50. So I am going to type Lenovo ThinkPad P50 boot from USB and then click search and there you go it gives me the instruction for my PC. I've tried this for Dell, HP, Lenovo and it works just fine. So go ahead and follow the instructions for your PC and then boot to the USB. After booting to it well you can choose to install Windows 10. You can choose to fix Windows 10. At that point the choice is up to you. And that's it, this is how you create a Windows 10 installation USB. So as you just saw, this video was really simple, easy to follow and straight to the point, no time wasted. So for more videos like this with no fluff, please subscribe and thanks for watching.